Hello and welcome back to a Game of Thrones mod for Crusader Kings 2. Now I'm going away next week so we have no custom courtiers because that way I can get a backlog of videos and we can, uh, you know, chuck them out uh, so we have some content next week instead of having like a week on week off which isn't really very good. Anyway, now that I've finished uh, randomly talking, let's uh, continue on with this. We're on a reaving app, remember. Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many and time seems to slip away. Later, as you leave the council chamber, you stumble and fall on your face. You can feel the taste of blood in your mouth and dizziness is setting in. Um, okay. I'll, I guess we would call for help. Right? I mean, there's, it doesn't really, neither side really fits us. I guess we'll call for help. You hear the voice of Lord Cotter just before you pass out. As you wake up next morning, it feels like about if your head is about to explode. But at least you're safe. We owe Lord Cotter a favour. Land is consumed by dragon fire, and Lena Targaryen is responsible for it. Hmm. Okay. That's not good. George Ironarm's decision to attack a fishing village produced a fight that was hard fought, and a few of our men were lost. But none could stand the might of the Ironborn, and we have claimed our Iron Prize Day winning plunder from those weak people. Fantastic. More money. We're still alive as well, which is uh, amazing for us. We must. This must be our third reaving. George Iron Arm's attack on a merchant flotilla was a disaster. Their warships were too well armed and well manned. We lost many men and warships trying to board their vessels. It makes us look like poor Ironborn indeed. Oh. Uh, oh, and it failed again. Um. I think it failed because that's George's event. Uh. Okay. During the attack of our reaving party, George Iron Arms was wounded by an enemy fighter. He's chosen to uh, go lead the group back home as a consequence, which the men do not approve of at all. Oh, we're done. Oh well. My lord, it's come to my attention nobody has been designated a uh, regent for Harlow Hill should the realm need it. Needless to say, this is a perilous position. But surely squabble and rivalry will emerge for clear leadership. I humbly petition you name me as designated regent to avoid a sort of trouble. Sure, uh, Saragon of Harden Hill, you can be our regent. We don't hate you, so sure. You also have a position that makes sense. Um, is there anything else we really want to be doing? I don't think so. Um, so lend has been a label. Uh, has been a leal, and I just mix uh, added the two words together. Has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in the aid of Harlow Hill. We've seen it's the right and honourable course to uh, reward him with certain incomes and grants, as to foster greater loyalty. Sure. We'll give him three gold. Um, how is our son doing? Over there in Lannis Port. Uh, he is doing alright. He's become conscientious. Uh, conscientious? Conscientious. <sighs> this isn't my day for reading. Yes. Uh, my liege, blessed upon you and your house. I've discovered a plot where Malora of Nettlebank seeks to kill uh, Lord Adric of Harlow Hill. I mean... No. We're, we're, no. Thank, thank you, Arjana. Um, I. We, we could drown her, but I think we should probably call for a trial first. See why she did it. Malora of Nettlebank is demanded a trial before the court, which Guinea shall oversee to ensure justice is served. She begins to present her defence, but the court did not seem impressed. She cut a very unconvincing and nervous figure. Guinea shall interrogate her now. Skinner stuttered, stammered, and incoherently rambled in front of the accused, rebuked his questions and accusations with ease. Unfortunately, his argument was so boring that many at court appeared to fall asleep. He made a poor case. A verdict has been reached. Ginner proclaims Malora of House uh, of Nettlebank is guilty. Uh, we could have her head on a spike, win exile her, walk through the streets, or uh, release her. Let's uh, have her head on a spike. Guile says his favourite toy is missing and he won't go to bed without it. Uh, I may have thrown it out today when I was tidying up. Who the hell is Giles? He's Haviam's son who I am educating? I guess? Okay. Well, um... I guess we'll go and find it. We're patient. I found a toy Giles was crying about after going through the trash, but now he's not satisfied because it smells. It stinks. Hmm, okay. My liege may live in harmony and contentment. I've discovered a plot where Roderick, a uh, servant seeks to replace a Guinea marrying as Castilian. Hmm, okay. 
Uh, we have a lot of plots, don't we? None of them are that important. No. Okay. Well, we'll continue. Westerosi War seems to be going in our favor now. Now get some more land towards uh, the rock. Uh, peasants revolt in the stormlands. Seems to be having some issues. I've been making an effort to spend more time with my half-brother Hagen lately. We've not always seen eye to eye, but as is liege, it is especially important to foster loyalty and respect. Family first. Ah, good. We like each other a little bit more. But still, there's a little bit of tension there. Uh. Zia Isle. Oh, two people died. Uh, Her Crow, who was the father of Araxes, has died. And uh, Zia Islander has died. She had one child, Holgar, who is already dead. And that is the end of the Islanders uh, in our realm. For just now. For just now. Under my guidance, my young courtier, Dalton, is slowly mastering our swordsmanship. Are we educating him as well? I guess he's let... Yes, he was left without a... Uh, uh, without a parent, so we'll be educating him. Alright, that's fine. Multiple people to educate. Um, yeah. I was just seeing if there's anything that I'm missing, something else we want to be doing. Or oh, we're spending even more time with Hagen. Fantastic. Now we'll probably like each other a little bit. That's good. More people being released from dungeons. Do we have any factions built up? Not really. We could start a faction. Nothing I really want to do, though. At age 76, King Tyland of the Rock died a natural death. He has been succeeded by King Lancel the Sixth of the Rock. He was craven and honourable. A bit slothful. Hmm, interesting. Um, can't imagine him living very long. Wow, there's a whole bunch of weird stuff here in the succession. There's Vic Rays, there's Mutons. I could go very weird. Mole died after a period of illness. She was married to Nun Alvarez Piero. Okay. All hail is Grace King Lancel, curse his name. All hail is Grace King Lancel of House Lannister, King of the Rock, Westlands, Lord of Castle Rock, Shield of Lansport, and Protector of the Realm. Again, curse his name. Yes, yes. My courtier, Nun Alvarez Pierre, has wasted no time and wants to find a new wife. Well, go and marry as you please then. He now has a new wife, Gisela. Ah, okay. Fine. Fine. Um, weird. That, um, inbred free. I guess he died stillborn? I think that's stillborn. Yeah, that's stillborn. Okay. I didn't realize if you had inbred, you got a different uh, thing. That's interesting. Uh, okay, there are favors being called in in the rock. Probably to get some laws passed that need to he needs to get done. Looks like they're losing the War of Westeros now, which is interesting. I mean, make an effort to spend more time with my half-brother Hagen. Again, we've not always seen eye to eye, but as is least, it's important to foster loyalty and respect. Family first. Good. Good. Um, uh, he almost likes us now, but we're, we're kind of more fond of him. Uh, more favors being called in. Okay, cool. Um, people being released from Doran's dungeons. How is that war going? Oh, Margaret wanted to learn to whistle. After a while, she asked me... Uh, how come you can do it? She is the daughter of um, Hagen of Harlow. Ah, okay. It's easy. You can do it. Not everyone can do it. Mm, it's easy. You can do it. We're, we're patient. Margaret seemed a bit frustrated by our failed attempt. She doesn't seem to respond well to my encouraging words. Many things seem to trouble this child. She's brooding now. Okay, I want to see how the uh, Reach Dorn War is going. It's going in favor of the Reach. Quite, by quite a lot, and Brimstone is also uh, declared neutral, so that's probably quite a lot of uh, Doran's land and power. I'm just seeing how other wars are going. Uh, defending against the Reach. Oh, it's the Stormlands. I did not realize that. So there, that's in favor of uh, Dorn. And Peasant's Revolt is in favor of Stormlands. I'm just seeing if everyone's uh, March special interest, because I feel like I'm missing some events down here. No? Okay. Uh, Westeros, uh, where is your capital? Oh, your, yes, your capital's in a very weird place. Your special interest. It's doing like a quick uh, scan to make sure everyone's there. Yep. Cool. My lord, his grace Courtney has taken his last breath. May he repose in peace. Now his heir, Sir Brian Sigurd, will take the throne and will rule the Seven Kingdoms henceforth. Well, 
the two kingdoms right now, really. If you count Crone Lands and Riverlands, that's pretty much what he has. Um, I care not for this foreign king. Yes. Well, he is um, Craven again. There's a lot of Craven around. And his line of succession is fairly uh, straightforward. So Lee's loyalist faction. My mother, Gwynise, the sweet scholar woman, can I uh, can always rely on me for aid. I try uh, to help out whenever and however I can out of respect, if not love. Um, oh, we like her a little bit better. Good. Good. Oh, she likes us a little bit better. Oh, okay. Um, more favors being called in. Good. Weak claims can be pressed. Not that important. Righteous imprisonments. Oh, we've got new ones here. Have we? Nope, those are the same ones as always. Right, still waiting for things to actually happen. We have almost a thousand men now. Oh, we, we have 1,500 men. What do we have claims on? Just, like, actual claims on. We have a claim on the Lordship of Stone Tree, which we can't press because he's now a family member. We claim on the High Lordship of Harlaw. And a weak claim on the High Lordship of Pike. And our wife has claims on the High Lordship of Pike and the Lordship of Pike. Hmm. Okay. And those will be uh, passed down, right? Our wife's claims. No, they have to be pressed in war. Hmm. Pike has too many men, though. That's the problem. Someone needs to attack Pike. How many men does our leash have, out of curiosity? Only about 3,000. Hmm. Okay. So things are not going well from that side of things. More favors being called in. Good, good, good. Um, raiders have arrived in somewhere. Uh, there's a faction to depose uh, the new King of the Rock. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They see dragons live once more. That Mega Sunblast now rides Nedis into battle. Okay, is she is in Westeros. Uh, yeah, she's in Westeros. Cool. Nedis is a um, reasonably old dragon. Yeah, second generation. Uh, Favor is being called in in our realm. Cool. My leash, I've tried to make Commander Havium the bold really realize what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are. But sinister forces uh, is caught up being hard at work to discredit my every move and distort my every word. I'm afraid in the end the visit did seem to do more harm than good. Your humble just guard, Lord Cotter of Hangmire. He's managed to lower our friend's opinion of us. Oh, that's just not on. Yeah. Wait, he is our friend still, right? Yeah, he is our friend. And uh, his opinion of us is hot. Oh, I was looking at the wrong opinion thing. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Alright. He still likes us, though. That's fine. People being released from dungeons. Uh, more favors being called in. All on this Ronald uh, Sheffingham, which is a great name. My liege, I'm pleased to report your errant subject. Sirio Baelish has uh, converted to Drowned God Faith. Praise the Drowned God, your humble drowned man, Arian Gilvenus. And he's also become patient. Cool. Oh. A son was born to Gunnar Pike and Arwen and good brother named Hagen. Hagen Maring. Okay. How many people are in our court now? 73. So yeah, there's still space for another 27 before the fertility lowering goes in. Tom and Gardner is now known as the Abel. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, what was that? The Westlander war for Lord Stafford's claim ended inconclusively. I guess Lord Stafford died. Oh well. That's that war done. How's the Dornish war going? It is go still going in favour of the Reach, but not... You know, it's not going very quickly. Uh, lots of favours being called in, mostly on this Ronald Sheff Sheffingham. Like, just non-stop on him. Okay. Lord Florian of the Golden Tooth refused to uh, the river... And the Sorry, let me try this again. Lord Florian of the Golden Tooth refused the retraction of the vassal Lord Tywald of Pink Maiden, demanded by King Lancel uh, the Sixth of the Rock. Okay, so it's the Leffords, and they actually have quite a lot of support behind them, because I assume that all of these people are against the Rock as well. Yes, as are we. In fact, is that everybody against the Rock apart from Lannisters? No, no, there are a few people. I wonder how it chose. I guess everyone got an event, and our liege just chose uh, to go to war. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, well, I guess we'll raise some troops up, and we'll go to war. Let's uh, do something. Uh, I would like to lead our... I guess we're leading our lieges at armies? No, we're actually training troops. 
Okay. Uh, do we... Is that the max number of um, commanders we can have? Yeah. So we'll have Makar lead one, and the other one will be led by uh, our mother, Winess. Okay. Cool. And we'll uh, leave them on Harlow Hill for just now. That's quite a big war. If it ends uh, with them winning, I don't know if it goes neutral or whether he has to abdicate. Uh, I don't know. I don't know which one it goes for. If it's neutral, then all sorts of fun has just happened. Storm King Emin of Stormlands died after a period of illness. He's been replaced by Storm King Gullion of the Stormlands. Cool. Well, we'll see how he does. Let's go over here and start sieging. My lord, your son Urus is stunning very well to my tuition. He has improved his skills and is advancing in knowledge every day. He's doing very well, especially as you're managing to teach him, like, presumably by Pigeon, because he's in Lannisport. But well done. Yeah. Good. We'll continue sieging down Volmark. See how it goes. Uh, some favors have been bought. Lots of favors being bought. Uh, some vassal contracts are being uh, transferred between people. Um, we're doing all right in this uh, siege. It's not going to take too long. Lord Sirian of the Rock has founded. Uh, Lord Quentin has founded Lord Sirian of the Rock faction, or for the Rock faction. Sorry. Sirian of Great Wick. Sirian Lannister. We can go on a reaving again. I don't think this is the time to go on a reaving, but soon, soon, soon we'll go on a reaving. Peasants revolt has ended. Good. Good. Don't want to have those peasants revolting. Um, right. We have won that siege. We're now in charge of the next siege, which we're, is continuing. That's good. Did we capture any prisoners? No. Oh well. Still cool to look at. Uh, we've won the siege of Will. Uh, that's actually the Reach has won the siege of Will. How's your war going, the Reach? Uh, it's not going that... It's no, I, they've actually lost a little bit of ground. That's not good. Well, not good for them, anyway. Don't know how it is for us. Doesn't really affect us in any way. <laughs> so Alessa Stark died of gonorrhea. She was married to Rickon Stark, who is the father of Andrew. So I guess he held land at one point. That's fine. Um, There's some factions for the Rose Road. I still go on a reaving. Horton of the Paps Peasants Revolt says, Look, the Peasants Revolt for Paps on King Lancel uh, the Sixth of the Rock. <gasps> Adric Serpentail, I invite you to pay the iron price by joining me on a reaving to the south in the Summer Sea where we can target the weak Summer Islanders. I promise we'll gain many salt wives and much plunder in the, in the ways of old. Yours, Grey Worm. Um, we could join him. No, we'll join, we'll join Grey Worms, Beaving. I was just thinking that um, we're not actually involved in this uh, war. As in, for anything more than uh, training troops in Harlow. So, we, we can go. And Asher Forrester is uh, our regent. Council support. Um, Shaw's uh, mean would like me to back him on the council. No. Definitely not. I have absolutely no desire to back you on the council. My cousin, Roderick Serpentil, has expressed a desire to get married and has asked for permission to find a suitable spouse. Of course, marry as you please, Roderick. Roderick Hardhand. He found Dorna of the Grey Garden. Oh, okay. Uh, the daughter of uh, Master Rook. Interesting that he chose that as a wife. Peasant's Revolt has been de uh, declared on King Tom and the Abel. He just going all right. Oh, okay. So, uh, Delandra of a shy has died. She was married to Robotronius. Okay, who is a bodyguard of um, Councillor Quibum of Tish in uh, a shy. Cool. And at age sixty-eight, Alex Magar was killed by a rabble, and he was the father of Arian uh, Gil Venice and. Um, what was it Raylier Gilvenis as well? Yes. Cool. That's all that. And our siege is done. Do we get anything from it? Nope. Okay. Well, we helped siege the Iron Isles. Time to go home. A daughter was born to Asher Forrester and Meredith named Wyla. Hmm. Okay. 
The land is consumed by Dragonfire, and Lena Targaryen is responsible for it. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll let our men recharge a little bit. Grey Worm's decision to attack a merchant fleet was sound. The fleet was fairly well defended. We lost a few men seizing their ships as well, taking some damage to our longships, but in the end, no one can resist the Ironborn Reavers and much cargo as well as many captives were taken. Good. Good. Uh, Tybalt of the Crag has been released from Lord Yon of the Fingers Dungeons. And I think we're going to end the episode here. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.